Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. I am excited and a little bit like, whoa, that we are gonna be talking about early spring patterns today. Um, I knew it was coming and it looks like Simplicity was the first to hit the market with early spring patterns. So let's jump in. Um, I still hate their website, but let's jump in and let me find where the patterns live um, so we can talk about everything that's coming out for the first of what we're really seeing in 2019. That's so exciting. So we are going to skip costumes. We skip dolls. We skip all oh, dog clothes. So cute. Um, babies, accessories. We skip all of this and just get into the women's patterns. So it looks like our very first one is a pair of overalls. So it looks like that trend is here to stay. Please, McCall's or whoever whoever owns whatever now, let's update the site, okay? Make it work like McCall's site does, <laughs> please. Okay, um, all right, so we've got, oh, interesting. All right, so we've got overalls, right? Pretty standard stuff up top, but the bottoms, are not. You've got a cuffed hem here, flare, which is super cute. And then our backs, you either have one with a bib or one without an elasticized waist on the one without. That's kind of interesting. Let's see how many versions they made up. Oh my God, is that sweatshirt fleece? It is. And look how high those pockets are. Where is her butt supposed to be? I'm so confused. But what is that? That looks low then. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let me get back to, I cannot believe that is sweatshirt overalls. Size for stretch knits only jersey, ponty sweatshirt, please, and velour. Oh, it's a little young, you know, like maybe teenager if you've got a teenager or someone in your 20s, I just can't imagine. I mean, I, I, I know that it's comfortable. There's no question about that. Um, I just can't imagine wearing this out in public. Like, I would feel so, I don't know, like, exposed? I don't know. That's not the right word. Obviously, you're very covered up. But I don't know. It just feels weird to be wearing sweatshirt overalls. I've never even seen that in ready-to-wear before. But I guess if you found like some Ponty or something that was nice, I don't know. I'm still having a hard time with that. There was a um, a knit jumpsuit in the Butter collection. What is happening? Okay, let's just, let's go back. More doll clothes. That was like buried in here. Okay, this looks somewhat respectable. So we have got a wardrobe pattern with a little cardigan jacket thing, a button down dress, a skirt, and a top. I think that's everything. I love this fabric, first of all. I love the wooden buttons. They did a great job styling it. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's get into it. Little, is that called a bolero jacket? Uh, raglan sleeve. I don't know how, I, I don't know. I'm on the fence about the cropped, you know, that feels a little matronly to me. It would not be difficult to lower it a few inches so it hits you at your high hip. Um, but as designed, you know, that just feels a little mother of the bride, a little Queen Elizabeth action going on. Um, but I do love the idea of a just a simple cardigan jacket over top. This is the top and the skirt. Top looks nice. The sleeve looks nice on the top. Um, kind of, you know, billowy. The style of the skirt is really great. I don't know that it's for me, um, but it looks really great on her. And this dress reminds me of my favorite seamwork dress. Who remembers the zebra dress that I did where I went through the trouble of matching all across here. 
Um, there might be some fitting issues going on here, but again, usually these girls are a little more small busted than the patterns are drafted for. What's going on in the back? That makes her waist look like two inches. Um, oh, so there are a lot of really great details about this uh, dress that you cannot see in this busy, right, in this busy pattern. But in the line drawing, okay, we've got princess seams. We've got this little band detail, which actually I really do like. I also really like the chunky um, straps. You'd still probably have to go strapless or braless underneath. Um, but I do like the, the weight, you know, balances it out. Then you've got these patch pockets, also with a banded detail, and then a band all the way down the front. Similar type of thing going on with a skirt. And then here's the back, which has um, darts, two back darts and two skirt darts. So yeah, I mean, for me, I don't love the pencil skirt, but I, I think the rest of it, I really, really love. I don't hate the top. Um, can we see, it looks like the darts are a little high, which, you know, I find that a lot in these. Um, it's almost like a throwaway. I don't know what happens, but it's like they spend all this work on all this and they're like, oh, we need to add a top. And so then they just throw in this one and it's not usually drafted that well. That's why I was kind of looking at the sleeve too. Um, Cause usually there's some issues with the sleeve and at least in some of the ones that I own, but you know, obviously you could just ignore the top and make whatever your favorite woven top is. Um, let's see. Oh, stretch knits only. Ponty. Uh, B is in, B is the top. So A is stretch knits only. B is lightweight wovens. And then C and D is, uh, like midweight wovens, chambray, cotton, gingham, lightweight denim, linen types, shirtings, and twill. Um, the twill, denim, chambray, everything in that family. I feel like there's a lot of really great printed options. I wouldn't be surprised if this were a twill. Um, but also cotton sateen would be great. Um, you could really find a lot of those like kind of stretchy wovens, I guess. Um, that would be very comfortable in this kind of pencil silhouette. I love this dress. Yeah, I maybe just lengthen that a little bit and it would be a little bit more modern. This angle is not nearly as flattering on the cardigan as this is. So, fun. Sure does make up for sweatshirt overalls. Okay. Now we've got ooh, dress top and pants. A wrap detail. And you can tell this wrap comes very high on the neck. Very modest. Very wearable. Love it. I also love this print. I think it might be hard to tell what it is. But um, substrate wise. But I do love the print a lot. Great fit on the shoulder, kind of cuts in a little bit, very flattering, and it wraps and ties on the side. And then they also come with these pants, which I think are elasticized. There's also some darting going on here that you can't really see. They only made this one view, so that's all we got are these pictures. Yeah, pass on the pants. The top's okay. Um, and then you also have this dress version, which just looks really freaking comfortable. <laughs> um, I can't tell if this, I'm assuming that this doesn't wrap all the way through. I don't know exactly how the wrap works because it does go around your back. So you can make it tighter, but I don't know. I've never sewn one like this before. So, and you know, simplicity doesn't have the best descriptions. So I'm kind of left with that. But if we're going off of line drawings alone, I'm thinking yes. The pants, oh, what is it about the pants? Maybe it's the fabric that they used. Just looks a little, I don't know. Maybe because they're so short. Oh, American Sewing Guild. Yeah, I like this. 
good solid B plus on this pattern. Okay, now we've got another little wardrobe of a tunic, dress, jacket, and pants. Very 70s, I'm feeling. Look how cute this dress is, though. I love that. I think it's out of linen, too, which is even more awesome. But, you know, the shifty dresses are not my fave. It depends on what the back looks like. We'll get to it. Okay, so we've got this little tie front. I, they're calling it a jacket. Um, a little top underneath, which I think is the same as this with the sleeve cut out. I didn't realize we were still doing that. Um, and then you've got bell-bottom pants with the button detail, which as much as I have strayed away from making pants, these are some pants that I would really like to make. I think that those are so cool. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Well, the redeeming quality is that there's an elasticized waist that actually for fitting for me is better because you can cinch in that elastic and get it to fit your waist um, no matter what is going on at the hips. But the dress, unfortunately, does not have fisheye darts. Again, you can add them, want, want, whatever. Um, I just like it when the work is done for me. There's no guessing. I'm not great at pattern drafting. Um, so, but, well, I don't know. I love it, though. I love the big sleeve. But, I don't know. Obviously, they're going for, like, a specific look with these... Um, fabrics that they chose and the colors but you could definitely modernize it with you know whatever you wanted I just love that it looks so good on her it will never look like that on me and also can we talk about exactly where the bust hits is the dart hits is like pretty much perfect oh um I don't know maybe I could make it work maybe it's one of those that I like enough that I would work hard at it you know to get it to work Okay, now we've got a dress, top, pants, and jacket. And, yeah, all the sizes. Oh, this is cute. Look at that in the little eyelet. Um, yes, please. That has me written all over it. And then we've got a pant, a jacket, which actually this little cover up with the bust thing is actually really freaking cute. I love that. And then you've got basically a shortened version of the dress to make this top. Okay. I'm here for all of this. Elasticized pants. Again, maybe that's where I should start. Finding a good pair of elasticized waist pants and just getting those to fit well. I love all of these pieces. Every single one. Look how cute that little jacket thing is. That's like perfect for spring. I love the V-neck and the button down and the size of the buttons. This could be a little questionable here. Uh, you might need to work on the sleeve a little bit. And maybe, I mean, it's not pulling here but there's definitely something going on here. I guess it would just depend on your bust. That's so cute. I love this outfit. Look how adorable she looks. I love it. Love it. This is getting added to the stash for sure. All right, Mimi G is coming at us with a denim jacket, which is great. Um, you know, there were a lot of denim jackets that came out last year, some better quality than others. I got to say, though, my seam work one, I really do love it. Um, I made a white one. It was great. I just, you know, sometimes you sit down your machine and you love doing all these details. You know what I mean? Like you're just really into just making it perfect. So this is a pretty traditional denim jacket. You've got the front yoke, you've got the back yoke, you've got these little pockets, the welt pockets, these seams here, a waistband, button down, collar, you get it, the whole nine. 
This looks a little long, I will say. I want mine to hit like here. Like his hits in a good place, but obviously her torso is shorter than a man's would be. Yep. But I think if you're looking for a denim jacket, especially if you're going to make something for a man, I think, you know, Mimi G's pattern would send you in a, in a very strong, positive, good direction. Okay, so now we've got a threads pattern, which this says that there's like um, a video. Watch for a feature article about stitching tips for this pocket in threads number 102. Okay, so you'd have to get the magazine for tips on stitching the pocket. Look at this one. Oh man. I'm going to be at Joanne's real soon. Brocade. Oh yes, brocade. Cotton types. The, and all the brocade should be on sale, like 70% off. This is about to like Brocade is about to not be selling at all anymore, so they should be selling the heck out of it. Uh, cotton types, lightweight denim, linen types, poplin, sateen, seersucker, yes. Velveteen even, yeah, totally, totally a velveteen jacket. Um, lightweight wools, yeah, any of those typical blazery types. So we've got princess seams. A traditional two-piece collar, one button, patch pockets, and then a whole bunch of sleeve variations. So this one has a little gathered sleeve, which can be a little young, you know. I don't know. And then we've got this little cuffed version, and then this little bell version, which I'm obsessed with. I love that. Oh, and it's collarless. So collared or collarless. And then beautiful back darts, um, but not a back center seam, just the back darts. Very nice. Very nice. Look at this. Perfect. Looks great with jeans. Looks great with anything. I love a blazer. I love a blazer in the early spring. Okay, now we've got a cute little anorak. How about this? Even the sheer one I'm not like totally hating, which is I know surprising to you guys. Doesn't she look like Maddie Ziegler? Does anyone know who that is? The little, um, the dancer YouTuber girl? Okay. This is so cute. I mean, I have the Kelly Anorak, so I don't know that I need another Anorak, but this is a great option. And I love, is that rose gold details? I mean, hello. <laughs> Let's see what they, cotton, gabardine, lightweight denim, linen types, twill, lightweight wool types, also in organza. Okay, so we have pretty standard anorak. You have your patch pockets, either with the flaps or without, elasticized drawstring waist, a center front two ways, or, or I'm sorry, separating zipper, either with the little covery flap thing or without, and then a hood or not a hood. Oh, and elasticized wrists or not. I think that's about it for the options. And then here's our back. Oh, and drop shoulder. Okay. I mean, I would have tried to find a different zipper personally. <laughs> the zipper tape's a little weird, but, um, and the elastic too. So maybe you could only make it in the colors that the elastic comes in, you know? Can you dye elastic? I've never tried. But it's very fashion-y. And in fact, I've seen people wearing these over like nice dresses and not, not athletic, like actual fashion, you know? So that could be interesting. And then here she is in her gold. I think this is just a gold linen. It could even be one of those like Robert Kaufman metallic cottons. I don't know. She looks great though. That is a killer jacket. You know, I have a whole bunch of this that I got 
because I was going to use it as a table skirt for my sewing table and then never really ended up doing that. Hmm, that's exciting. Okay, amazing fit pants. All right, all right, curvy pants. I get it, I get it, maybe. Contour waistband, okay, that's promising. Front inverted pleat, slim leg. I mean, maybe, you guys, should I try? I don't know, every time I try, I get so dang frustrated. What's happening in the back? Oh, okay, the curvy does have two back darts. They have one little welt pocket. I like the little slit here, that's cute. I don't know, it's just so frustrating to put that much work into something to not have it turn out. I wish they had a curvy girl wearing it. They look great on her, they got her to fit wonderfully. Oh, maybe. I don't hate them, there's a lot of really great details about them. Uh, chino, cotton types, crepe, crepe, really? Lightweight denim, linen types. I don't know. They're not super flattering. The proportion is off. They make her look really short. But the bottom of the leg is really the least of my concerns. It's what's happening here. Oh, maybe I should try the curvy ones. Okay, wide or slim leg pull-on pants. Okay. I'm loving the seersucker version, a thousand percent. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> um, that must be the wide leg version, obviously. And then you've got this one with a little tie and no patch pockets. You've got a little... Uh, what was I calling it in the Butterick one? Pencil pants. <laughs> and then these rolled up ones. Lightweight wovens, I'm assuming. Yes. Oh, pinwheel corduroy. Yes. Okay, and here are, so elastic, plain, or, or you can do these really cool belt loops and do a little sash. That's cute. And then uh, patch pockets or no pockets. And then nothing going on in the back. These are so cool. They're kind of low rise. So cool. I want these pants too. Guys, I think I'm going to have to figure out pants in 2019. I got the jumpsuit pants to fit okay. All right. Love this. Feels a little um, insane in Asylum-esque, straight jacket -y. but I'm okay with that. I love the neckline, I love the sleeve, I love this plate detail. I love things that are like, uh, like tailored looking, but simple. This isn't simple. I mean, it's not difficult. I just mean, what am I trying to say? Like, I think I just love like tailored details, I guess. I don't know. Perfect fabric too. Okay, other options are this little interesting elastic -y tie one. These interesting sleeves, but no shaping in the bodice. This other pinchy version. <laughs> are you guys liking my analogies? I don't know what any of this stuff is called in real life. Um, and then here's the pleated one. Um, oh, the backs have, so interesting. So darts here on all of the ones that have like front doodads going on, but the one that needs it the most, there's no darts. That's so annoying. I think they're all cool. I don't like this one, but I think these three are really cool. I mean, doesn't she look so modern? And maybe even with those pants that we just saw. I don't know which pants these are, but I mean, that's such a cool outfit. 
I would wear that all day long. Love this. Okay, what is next? Ooh, <laughs> just when I was saying I was kind of over the exaggerated sleep trend, they bring me this gauzy Victorian beauty. I mean, that looks so runway, so designer, so expensive. And it's just a bunch of elastic bands going up and down your arm, folks. It's not difficult. So you have version A, which I think is what she's wearing. Good placement on the darts. Neckline facing. Tons of ruffly sleeve. I love this. I like love this. Then you have a short sleeve version. Then you have this version that has more normal sleeves with ties and then also this little lace-up thing. I can't tell if that's in the front or the back. We'll see in the line drawing. And then here's one that uses um, border fabrics. So on, yeah, so the lace-up is in the front, which is cool because it kind of ties into this, no pun intended, with the ties. Yeah, this is great. This is a great top. You could make all of these and they would all look so different. Cotton lawn, cotton types, dotted Swiss. Oh, dotted Swiss, yes. Double Georgette, linen types, shirtings and silky types. D and scalloped edge fabrics only, which is that like, I called it a border print incorrectly. It is like a embroidered border. Okay, that's going in the cart. Um, here's a fun take on a button down. Let's see. V neck. I'm sure there's some kind of facing in there. Three big buttons. Uh, this is like a pleat that's open on the top and the bottom, which is cool. Kind of a drop shoulder, a uh, cuff. There's also a slit version. Oh, this is just like contrasting bands, I guess. That's the version she's wearing. And here's, oh, a super cute short sleeve version. This is cool too. I'm digging Simplicity's tops. <gasps> Look at the back. Why does that make me gasp? You know how seriously I take my back shaping whenever I literally gasp over anything happening <laughs> back there. Yeah, this is cool. I don't know about this one with all this, but these other ones are kind of cool. I love this one so much. Yeah, yes, I'm here for this one. I need a sale ASAP. Okay, here we've got a collared shirt with a very exaggerated collar. Is that like a new thing again? This is like 1970s called and they want their collar back. But how cute is this fabric? Love that. Okay, so traditional button down by all accounts, except for this crazy collar. Uh, I'm sure you could redraft the point on that to be a little less or... You could be very fashion forward and sew the big collar. Hmm. Okay, or you can uh, chop off the sleeves and you have this little version, side slit and a little tie. Um, you could add little ruffles to the drop shoulder and remove the collar, make it a little band or make a short sleeve version. No shaping in the back. Um, yeah, th I, this is not really st a standout to me. Not like the other ones were. I do love this fabric, though. Yeah. Okay, next page. Okay, we've got... A few dresses coming up now. 
So Mrs. Petite dress, wow. Wow, this looks complicated. So you've got, I mean, these are basically like princess seams. They're just curved on both ends instead of going straight into the waistband. You could also contrast these out and make your, like if you made these side panels black, you look like your waist is like nothing. This one is beautiful with this. This reminds me of like something Melania Trump would wear um, with this one shoulder cascady thing. Um, here is like a one shoulder uh, contrast with some lace, which is cool. Here's the color blocking that I was talking about. This is a cool dress. I don't love wearing these princess, what well, princess? No, these uh, pencil skirts. I don't know how it would look if you flared out the skirt, but is that a bow on her shoulder? I think it is. It is. It's a little bow to like tie off all the trim. This is a really cool dress. I actually really like it a lot. Um, I'm just not so sure how flattering it would be or not even that. I'm not so sure how like where I would wear it and how comfortable it would be. It doesn't really fit into my lifestyle. I love a fit and flare dress, but that's also a little more casual to me. This feels a little more professional or like church, you know, but you know, I got to love this. Yeah, this is cool. They did make it out of linen, which is a little more casual. Um, it just, it's very elegant, very elegant. That is precisely the word I needed to come up with. Um, so we have cotton, crepe, dupioni, jacquard, linen, pique, pique would be great, sateen, shantong, stretch wovens, lightweight wool. I mean, yeah, this could be a great holiday dress. It could be great for a wedding. Um, lots of different places that you could wear this. I just don't go to many weddings or garden parties or anything like that, but I want to want, I want to so that I can want that dress, <laughs> so I can have that dress in my wardrobe. Okay, learn to sew this knit dress. Oh my gosh, okay. Wow, okay, so we, <laughs> my mind has to sometimes like just <laughs> absorb what all is happening in front of my eyeballs. Okay, so basically what you've got here is one gigantic pattern piece that creates a dolman sleeve and a gathered like empire waist. That is so much for a long sleeve and stripes. It's like overload. Maybe because they're little stripes. I don't know. You don't have to worry about matching the stripes across the seam here. So that's kind of nice. Um, so use elastic to stabilize gathers. Make a turn back casing. I don't even know what that means. Sew with stretch velvet. Okay. So, uh, mm, let's see some more pictures. <laughs> I think it's okay. I think it's okay. I think the stripes are just like a lot. Um, maybe better in a floral or a solid, you know. I don't know though. I'm kind of second guessing my own opinion. I mean, it's just a lot of gathering, which could be okay, but it could also be a lot. But I bet you get a lot of good tips because it's a learn to sew. So you get a lot of those basic tips that, you know, for those of us that taught ourselves to sew, sometimes we just skip basics because when you're learning something, you know, you don't always learn it from the most basic uh, foundation. You just learn it to get it done, I guess. Um, but like ITY knit, no. Bamboo knit, no. That's way too thin, way too lightweight. Modal jersey, no. No, no, no. That's the problem that I have with this is the, is I don't like sewing with those super, super lightweight, um, super drapey, super, uh, thin knits. Plus, I don't think it's very flattering on my hips. I don't know. If I found a great 
But it would be, you know what it would be really great in for this time of year is a sweater knit. A lightweight sweater knit would be lovely. It doesn't have to be in these springy knits. It can be a wintry one or more like fall. Okay, now we've got a tie front dress. I feel like the tie front is having a moment, right? Like we've talked about this a lot now between this video and the Butterick one that I did, Butterick Winter. We've had, we've been talking about tie fronts a lot. So this one is very um, drapey, loose fitting. That's all fine and well. Raglan sleeve, a little neck band, a little slit here on the center front and then a little uh, scoopy, <laughs> a little like a uh, wrap skirt with a rounded hem, <laughs> AKA scoopy, scoopy skirt. Okay, or you have a long version with no skirt wrap thing. Uh, this has a different sleeve, this is a short sleeve, and that's the one that she's wearing. This is cute. I gotta say, I prefer the version without the skirt panel, personally. Our backs have some lovely darting going on. Amen for that. A lot of baby hems. A lot of baby hems. Look at that. Boom. Boom. Love 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 perfection and you can't get that guys you cannot get that without darts without something happening it's cute i could totally see myself wearing this totally a thousand percent love the color too i'm sure they're suggesting like shally and uh-oh uh charmeuse cotton lawn yeah for the ones without the skirt panel crepe uh, yes I actually have a really great crepe in my stash it would be perfect for this double georgette silky types voil voile voil voile voil. um great oh these look like something I would like Cute. Okay. Okay, on the sleeve. I don't know about the sleeve. Okay, so we've got a, it looks like a little mock collar, V-neck, and it's those buttons that you don't sew buttonholes. You have like the little loops, which I think is a really nice, um, delicate, feminine detail. You've got your waistband sash, which I'm totally here for. And then this lovely skirt, inseam pockets, um, and it's below the knee. But you could easily shorten it if you wanted. I just don't know about this sleeve. Yeah, no. It does have a drop shoulder, which is also interesting. See? Um, so this version does not have the buttons, and it has these patch pockets. Oh, and a little sleeve slit. This one has like a ruffly sleeve. And this is the one that she's wearing? No. This is the same sleeve as she's wearing, but no buttons and short, I think. Where are my line drawings? Okay, what do we have here? Oh, it's an elasticized waist too, which I didn't notice. Okay, so there are a lot of parts of this that are redeeming. I, I just can't visualize this. This just seems like it's going to look sloppy or ill-fitting to me. I don't know why they didn't just make a regular, you know, like, let's see what this looks like. Like, doesn't that look weird to y'all? how it comes down and then poofs. Like that's strange, right? But can we talk about this skirt? Hello, great spinning quality. I love everything about this. I guess I would probably make it maybe without a sleeve and just finish this off or, hmm, I don't know. 
but I do love everything else about it. This version is okay. I think it's just when it drops down and then poofs out, I just, that, that, that to me is bizarre. Like it looks like it's too big or something in the shoulder. But other than that, it is a beautiful dress. Hmm. Hmm. That's a maybe. That's a strong maybe, but a maybe. Nonetheless. Okay, pullover dress with tie belt. Oh, God, I'm already nervous. Oh, okay, wrap front. Really weird flutter sleeve situation. Uh, I think some shoulder darting. And then some kind of skirt. I can't really tell. It does hit her. The wrap does hit in a really pretty place. And it's laying nice and flat. All good qualities. Um, okay, and then we have this little poofy sleeve with a tie. This version is really cute. This version is really cute. And then a maxi. I think it's just this sleeve. I'm just like, ugh. I mean, it's very Roman, Grecian goddess. Let's see. Is this picture any better? Uh, okay. Okay, okay, maybe. Maybe on that sleeve. But definite yes to all the other sleeves. A definite yes. Yeah, I can't tell though if it is a faux wrap or is it, what do we have? I think it's a faux wrap, you know, like it's sewn down. This is sewn down and then the sash wraps around all of it and you have these little belt loops on the side. So that's kind of cool. I like that it stays in place. You don't have to worry about retying it. That's a good quality. Um, and these are all woven fabrics. Shally, Charmeuse, Crepe de Chine, Double Georgette, Silky Types. So, yeah. Even that, um, oh God, what was it that I was so obsessed with earlier this spring? Was it Rayon Twill? Rayon, oh, I can't remember. The thing I made out of the Style Maker fabric. Anyways, any of those lightweight drapey ones will be really pretty. Maybe it's the flowers. I don't really love the painted on flowers. Okay. Now we've got an amazing fit dress. Okay. Promising. The color is phenomenal. It's the sleeve. I'm obsessed with this sleeve. Okay. And we have this really pretty neckline. We've got princess seams from hem to shoulder. We've also got these little darts here. Yeah, you guys, this is going to look like a million bucks. There's no way that you couldn't get this to fit you perfectly. You've even got a side seam. Honestly, like it's a lot of work because there's so many seams, but it fits you like a glove. Princess seams, follow the body's contour, shaped side bodice pieces. Yep. Three length choices which are knee, below the knee, and midi, maybe? Let's see. Hers is, yeah, look at it in a lightweight drapey or fabric. That's awesome. Yep. And don't be totally distracted by the sleeve. It is a lot of sleeve with a lot of skirt, you know? Like, I don't know if the proportions are right here. But you could easily modify this to be lots of other sleeves, including sleeveless, like they've done here. Um, or even this little simple sleeve wouldn't be as distracting. This is just a lot of sleeve with a lot of other stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I wish I could see the front of this one. Why spend all that time taking photos and only show us one photo of the back? Oh, maybe it doesn't fit in the front. How is that possible? That's where my mind goes. That's how cynical I am. I'm like, well, if they didn't show us the front, there must be a reason. <laughs> I'm so annoying. Okay. And then I think this is our last one. This is a Mimi G uh, shirt dress. And yeah, it's a basic shirt dress. 
So you've got these like military style pockets. Um, even have the tab, the button tab here. Um, and then two different sleeve options and then your button down collar stand. Uh, well, this is like a high low hem. So is this one um, curved. So, yeah. I, I think uh, I think the line drawings are giving me very strong, you know, military vibes. Um, so when you make it in something like a blue and white shirting or even this like white gauzy fabric, you kind of, you look at it at two ways. Either you're like doing a juxtaposition. In this case, I don't really think it works. Like I would love to see this made in like a khaki twill so that it looks like a trench coat shirt dress, you know, like go with it. I'm feeling like going against it is a little bit, uh, a little bit, I don't know. It just feels like something's not right. You know what I mean? But when I see these, I'm like, yes, I want this. <laughs> um, just maybe not. I, I'm getting more fall vibes out of this. But this, I think, could be really cute in like a chino or, you know, just go with it. If it's going to be military, make it out of a military type fabric. Or even like a chambray would have been better. But I know chambray is a little overdone. Here are... Here's the back. This also feels really tight to me all around here. Even in her sleeve feels really tight. And I'm sad she's in a studio. What happened to her outdoorsy pictures? Yeah, something in here is not feeling right. This is not right. Oh, man. Mimi G, I really want to like your patterns. I really, really, really do. All very editable and you could definitely make it work. It's just, you know, those little things stand out to me. Um, all right. This is all very fall. Yeah. All right. So that is our first look at early spring 2019 in our home sewist patterns. What do you guys think? What are your favorites? What will you be making? Oh, I'd almost forgotten about the sweatshirt overalls. <laughs> I almost forgot about those. There's a lot of really great ones in here, guys, especially if you kind of can overlook, you know, whatever kind of story they're trying to tell with the fabric choices. Um, there's a lot of really, really great classics in here that I think, oh, the Anorak, yeah, that I think we are going to be seeing a lot of. Um, a lot of people, this is all very approachable. Um, definitely still fashion forward, like this sleeve here and even the oversized collar but um, still approachable for like an everyday average person out on the street. Like I would make this and wear this to Target and not feel weird. You know what I'm saying? Which is like, I guess my standard for like, is it wearable or not? Can you wear it to Target? Um, anyways, so let me know what you guys think. I'm excited to see the rest of the early springs come out and spring following that. Um, and see just kind of what we're going to get for 2019 from all of our pattern designers. Um, but yeah, so that's going to do it for me today. I will see you all very soon. Bye.